Hey YouTube, Teach My Teaching Hater here with another one of my how-to videos. Today it's going to be on this little fly called a brassy. Uh, very effective. I've got many fish on this. Uh, you can do it in uh, a, broad, a wide range of colors. Uh, I use mainly red, but uh, you're supposed to use it in a copper wire, just like so, copper wire. Uh, you need some olive thread some regular uh right here ultra thread uh this spool right here you know and uh you'll need some peacock curl and you'll need a uh size uh it says you're supposed to use a size uh 14 hook 14 to 18 i use a size 10 makes it a little bit more effective but you can use whatever size you want so here's how you start you put it in your uh, vise, just like, like so, you can't see that, just like that, and then you get your uh, olive thread, and you put it on with a jam knot, just like every fly, fit on some twirls, and you, d you cover the whole entire hook shank, just to about a third of the way down the curve then you bring it back up to the eye just behind the eye and back to there you'll grab your scissors snip 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 off the excess thread put that aside then you will get Six inch piece of ultra wire. Right here, six inch piece of brass wire. I use ultra wire. Very good, uh, made by UTC. It's an American company. Let me pull out my tape measure here. Okay. Uh, six inches. Let's see. It's really hard to measure this because it's all bendy. Push that down. Okay, there's about six inches. The weird thing is you only use two and a half inches of it, but they'll tell you to use six. Any uh company will they will even say like in booklets and stuff say like six inches. I use six just to be and uh just to be careful because uh you never know. It could like snap or something. But what you wanna do is you wanna put that right over top of your hook and cover it in a good bit of thread and do that the whole way back until you meet your thread again sorry I have a really crappy bobbin but you just do that the whole way back until you meet your thread about a third way down the curve of the hook Uh, let's see here. I, I've been using the wrong term for the curve of the hook. Let me check my eyes. The bend. It's called the bend. The bend of the hook. About a third way down the bend. Then you take it the whole way back up to the eye. You leave your wire back here. Like this. This is my wire right here. Then what you want to do. Get your thread out of the way. Hang it down. And then just wrap the wire in close turns. Very close turns, like one right after another, touching the whole way up the hook. This is a very long process because the wire is very thin. But it is in a very effective fly. It's okay to leave a small amount of space. That way it'll look more like a bug. Like with like the little scaly things, whatever they're called. Shell. External skeleton. I leave about a fraction of a millimeter in between. And then some parts I'll touch. 
and then you leave about two eye widths left in uh just like regular thread almost up to the top I can't see sorry about the horrible quality there's about how much space left to the eye and then you let this stand up and tie it off to tie it off all you do is just go diagonally over the excess excess wire a couple times It'll tie it off and what you want to do is just snip the excess wire put that aside and then you have Grab a peacock curl, and you take one strand, just one strand of the feather, one strand of the whole curl, just one little strand, one little strand, and tie it on to the front. And I usually take my thread around the back. So it gets out of my way and I fluff the feathers down and make them like stand out more or make it look more like a bug head and you just wrap it up to the eye and just wrap it back keep wrapping it back and forth along the top of the hook give it a little head and then once you think you have enough I will take my wire back up to the top and I'll tie on tie in the peacock curl rip off the rest I don't even know why I picked up my scissors and then uh, people say to use a whip finisher well I don't own one so today I'm going to show you a little trick it's called a half hitch knot and what you want to do Put one finger on the line, bring it over, and then bring it over the line again. Put your fingertip right on the uh, eye, and just pull down, give it some tension, and then do several of those. And it's a, it's a it's a very effective knot, and uh, sometimes they'll come undone, but it's very effective if you don't own a uh, whip finisher. And uh, so I'll put some head cement on. That's what I'll do. Because I had a I had a brassy that I used red wire on, and uh, the fish went after it, and when it hit it, when the fish nibbled on it, the thread came undone, and all you saw was little pieces of wire and uh, peacock curl floating on the water. Okay, and then after you do that, I'll get my head cement. Just stuff right here. Fly head cement. Take it out, grab my needle, put the needle in there, let it soak a little bit, till it gets a couple droplets, put it right on the head, a whole peacock curl, and then I'll put it along the body where the thread is. And there you have it, that's all you need to know about a brassy. It's a very effective fly. I snip my extra thread off. And there you go, that's a brassy. It's a very effective fly. It's very good for a uh, trout. And uh, if you did it well, it, uh, have a nice body nice body nice head and uh, like I said you can get uh, multiple colors of uh, wire and it'll be fine thank you